Supreme Court decision on gay marriage, making it legal in all 50 states, has divided America. Many people within religion feel that this is an abrogation of tradition, and it goes against the Bible. Those who believe that the most important thing is equality, egalitarianism, and equal rights have applauded the decision. Here's my opinion on this. I would have liked to have seen the court ruling that there should be civil unions for all and marriage for none. There is, after all, separation of church and state in America. I don't know what the government's doing being involved in recognizing any kind of religious marriage. That should be the purview, specifically of rabbis, imams, and priests. Civil unions for all and marriage for none would have also created equality. Gays and straight couples would have been treated equally. Having said that, Let's be honest about the religious prohibition of homosexuality. God gave Ten Commandments, but on two tablets, in order to establish that there's religious law and there's moral law. The first five commandments deal with, I am the Lord your God, you shall have no other gods before me. The relationship between God and man, religious law. The second tablet deals with moral law. The relationship between man and his fellow man. Don't steal, don't commit adultery. Don't covet. In other words, don't infringe on other people's rights. Homosexuality is not a moral sin because it involves two consenting adults. It's a religious sin. It doesn't infringe upon the rights of any person. So we have to stop saying that this is immoral and making gay men feel like they are not moral human beings. That's not right. It is a religious infraction. But in Judaism, there are 613 commandments and homosexuality is one of those 613. And it should be treated as a religious infraction akin to lighting fire on the Sabbath, eating shellfish, which is also called an abomination in the Bible. The word abomination appears 114 times, not just about homosexuality. By the way, in the New Testament, it appears only about four times, mostly about greed. So what we're left with is a society that has decided that it's going to treat gay men and women as equals, according them equal rights, even as it offends the religious sensibilities of a large portion of the population. But then the government cannot get involved in religious issues. I'm kind of happy that we finally adjudicated this, even as an Orthodox rabbi, where I can't fully embrace gay marriage, even as I absolutely trumpet equality for all gay men and women and equal rights for the entire LG LGBT community. But I'm kind of happy that we've already, we finally put this issue to bed. Aren't there other values issues that we need to focus on? For those people who believe that gay marriage is the end of the family as we know it, don't you think divorce is a far greater threat? Gay marriage is going to affect 5 to 7% of the population. Divorce is 50% 50 of the heterosexual marriage rate. One out of two. That's the true destruction of marriage in our time. We straight people don't need the help of gay men and women to destroy marriage. We've done a very fine job of it ourselves. Thank you very much. So now's the time for us to get back and focus on rebuilding the American family. Maybe on some other values issues, finally, that we Americans talk about. Like, what about a year of national service so that our teenagers can be liberated from this cage of, of teenage narcissism? Maybe we could talk about having a national family dinner night where parents can make their children feel valued and, and prioritize them. Maybe we could talk about a, a more charitable and, and more authentically spiritual and religious society where we're not just always fixated on gay marriage. I have a relative who is gay, who is very close to me, who I love very much. I never wanted to see him treated as a second-class citizen. I'm grateful to the court for creating a culture of equality, even as I wish they would have done it differently. Now, let's all together move on as Americans and build a just society where the family is paramount.